Hello, I'm Brian Eli, Collections Manager at the National Civil War Naval Museum. And I'm Logan Barrett, Historian. Today we pulled out three artifacts from the collection. We have found these items in the living quarters on the ship specifically for the commissioned officers. This place is known as the wardroom. It is also the place where they would eat. The first item we have is a wooden egg cup from the USS Kearsarge. The Kearsarge was a sloop of war that sunk the commerce raider CSS Alabama at the Battle of Cherbourg off the coast of France. The item from the ship stands one and three quarter inches by two inches high. The egg is typically prepared soft boiled from the galley. It's then placed in the stand, the top sliced off, and then the contents are eaten with a spoon. Chickens were kept on board the stern of the ship in coops. Livestock kept on board could provide fresh food for the crew daily, keeping sailors from getting, keeping sailors from getting sick or hungry. The next item that we have here is the collapsible drink cup made of tin. The cup has its own container and when expanded like this it forms into a functional drinking vessel. The cup reportedly belonged to the ship's assistant surgeon while serving on board the supply ship USS Pompero on the Western Gulf Blockading Squadron. Specifically, the Pompero was a collier, meaning that it was a ship that carried coal and remotely supplied other ships. And then finally, we have a 10 inch wide white china plate with a blue edge from the wreckage of the blockade runner Georgiana. The quality of utensils and dishes used by the officers was very high in comparison to the sailors. Ward rooms were often equipped with fine china and cups. Now the big distinction between officers and enlisted sailors was how they ate, not exactly what they ate. Um, so as we see here with some of our artifacts as well as where we're sitting, uh, the officers would have their own mess table in which to dine and have their own personalized uh, high-end uh, utensils such as fine china and these other uh, artifacts that we have on display for you in today's video. Uh, enlisted sailors, on the other hand, would really just be finding a spot wherever they could on board uh, the ship to eat. Now, in terms of what they were eating, uh, the crews of the Civil War navies would have been uh, eating perhaps uh, better than one would anticipate. Uh, we have to keep in mind that uh, in contrast to expectations of uh, scurvy and other issues uh, and within sailors' life uh, because of lack of fresh produce, during the American Civil War, um, these ships would have been uh, blockade ships near shorelines and port cities, as well as uh, along uh, the nation's river systems. Uh, because of this, uh, the ships of the navies regularly had uh, access to fresh meat and produce. Uh, they would have uh, beef, pork, chicken, uh, as well as seafood. Uh, fish and oysters were quite popular uh, in the Civil War navies, as well as access to fresh produce, uh, including apples, tomatoes, and potatoes. Now, the ships did not always have access, uh, so this was not always a constant. In fact, there was at least one instance in, uh, in the case of the USS Hartford, the uh, flagship of Admiral uh, Farragut, uh, in which uh, over the course of a five-month period, at least one meal of the three meals of each day, uh, they had pork and beans. Uh, so each ship uh, did always have uh, in their stores um, salted meat uh, and dried goods such as rice and beans and peas. Uh, in addition to these, uh, the ships would also frequently have a 19th century invention, canned food. We hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. And please check out our webpage at portcolumbus.org. And come see us.